we have a hardware store and we make screens and we sell Alex Jones videos uh, and, uh, and do a little bit of locksmithing and do all kinds of you, things. You, you even know? sell guns. We even. Uh, we, well, I'm going to rabbit it, slave with a weapon. It's disarm him. Get the guards. Disarm him immediately. It, it, Whereas one of the slaves has a weapon. Raise the alarm. Raise it. Oh, good Lord. The problem with the selling of guns right now, Alex, is it's, they're awful hard to get right now. But the rather you can't have the slaves because Barack, the serfs having weapons. Oh. Barack the Quack has made everyone want to buy guns. He's been re really good for the gun industry. Lord Obama is a sensible individual. Total disarmament of the civilian population under the Unidea 2001 July 7th agreement to disarm all civilians for a power monopoly of the state under UN law is the only sensible system if we're going to carry out eugenics against these slaves and they're rabble scum they need to be euthanized immediately and how dare them not want to be slaves how dare them not want to be in inner city reservations how dare them not submit to us and our divine will we're geniuses and what Alex just said is actually factual. It was Christoph Carl and Patricia Lewis, Unidir, 2000, in a paper they put out called uh, Disarming, Taking This Military-Style Weapons Away from Civilians. Everything he just joked about right now is actually documented in fact. Of course we must take all your firearms. Including the semi-automatic. How are we going to re-educate you to accept being euthanized if we if we don't, according, to, according to Obama and his people, the right of the people to keep him bare flintlocks shall not be infringed. The, the founding fathers, as you've seen in our FEMA training videos, to police in Kansas City were terrorists against the crown. The Second Amendment is a vicious crime. How dare you? I will disarm you immediately. That man, that man there laughing, seize him, seize him. He has, he has been rude to a lordship. Well, you know, the Supreme Court back in 39 said that uh, if the, the weapons that were really protected by the Second Amendment were the type in common use at the time by the military. And it just so happens that during the time of the Revolution that the civilians, the militiamen, had better rifles than the regular army. They had rifles and the regular they army had, the had long rifles. smooth bore muskets. Yeah. The brown yep. besses couldn't hit the broadside How of a barn. How dare you speak badly of the gracious imperial forces of King George III I'm sorry, as I'm he put down that disgusting, that disgusting rebellion by these uppity slaves. Pardon me, I'm just trying to do a little historical context here, Alex. That's all. The, the, the militiamen had better rifles than the regular army. So they were disgusting, wild, savage heathens. And we went forward to confiscate their firearms, and they dare fire back at us. Yes, as, what's it the movie said? What was it in the, uh, in the Patriot? These rustics are so inept. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the rustics won. Now we put fluoride in their water. That teaches them. I'm sorry, Mr. Rivero. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, well, li listen, you don't have to worry about fluoride in the water if you're drinking beer all the time. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> listen, Bob Dacey, great having you here. Thank you very much, Alex. Mike, good seeing you, man. I'm glad to talk to you the first time. And I will good to talk to, to you, go. too. I will continue to go to whatreallyhappened.com every day right after I go to infowars.com. All right, Bob, take care. good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much.